Hello, and what is going on, cuties? Brigid here, and yeah, I know it's been a while. I've been just taking a lot of time from you know doing videos, but anyway, we are back on Forza Horizon 5, and I got a special treat for y'all today. And that special treat is a bunch of builds on a bunch of Japanese cars that I just got throughout this Japanese themed season playlist. And this first one is the uh, 1990 Subaru Legacy RS. 217 horsepower, 199 foot power torque, and an overweight of 2,990 pounds. This thing, I think, has the same engine as the Wallace well, Subaru uh, Impreza. So, anyway, I don't know. Uh, shut up so that y'all can hear this idling. And now let's see how this thing sounds. Oh yeah, that is definitely the same Subaru uh, Impreza Boxer. Yep, that is definitely a uh, Subaru Boxer. <coughs> Okay, okay, this thing's pretty good so far. Okay, and now I'm to upgrade it. Ooh, okay. I am not taking that wing off. Oh! Just um, bring them out. I guess I could go with these because those actually do look pretty good on this thing. Five hundred and forty three horsepower, four hundred and forty three foot pound of torque, and now 
Uh, an overall weight of 2,472 pounds. Okay, not bad. Oh, there's that crackle. Okay, so he kind of got a, a bit of a, a monster here. Okay. <clears throat> Okay. Now let's see what liveries people have made for this thing. Mm. Uh, okay, let's see what we got here in terms of our liveries. For this thing. Eh. You know what, fuck it, I'll go with this one, Seen Better Days. Because, well, cars like this, um, they have seen better days indeed. And as a matter of fact, I think I've actually seen a few of these. These are 1990s Subaru uh, uh, Legacies. As far as I can remember, I, I think I've seen quite a few. I think I've seen quite a few. <laughs> Quite a, a few of these. Holy shit, that, that is like a Toyota Hilux, which let me uh, get uh, uh, out of it and, and uh, head on over here. Here we go. This thing's actually pretty quick. Jesus Christ. Okay, so that does it for the uh, 1990 uh, Subaru uh, Legacy RS, and now moving on to the next Japanese car of this video. So this is the uh, next Japanese car that I'll be building. This is the uh, 2018 Nissan Sentra Nismo. Not really much to look at in terms of a little uh, four-door sedan from a Japan. 
188 horsepower, 177 foot-pound of torque, and an, and an overall weight of 3,037 pounds. So this thing's probably not going to have that much. But hey, there's only one way to find out. Uh, the idling on this thing is not that loud, so I will do the usual woo with the island for y'all. Hmm, it's pretty decent in here. Trip a distance. Wait, is that like one of the, uh... Okay, never mind. Let's see how this little thing sounds. Is that a Honda Civic? Four cylinder. I can't actually tell if that's a uh, Honda Civic four cylinder. Anyway, let's go. Okay, that is definitely not, uh, that is definitely not a, uh, Honda Civic four-cylinder. Yep, that is definitely not a uh, Honda Civic four-cylinder. Now to upgrade. Ew. Uh. I put those on it because well, I think they look nice. But I'll keep these wheel stock because these stock wheels actually look pretty uh, good on it. Whoops. Five hundred and three horsepower, four hundred and twenty-six foot-pound of torque, and now uh, an overall weight of two thousand four hundred and fifty-seven pounds. Whoa! That that kind of sounds like a Honda Civic four-cylinder. Got the crackle from that little engine. Okay, so one hundred and 
91 miles per hour. Okay. Are you serious? CDMX Taxi. What the hell is CDMX? I have no idea what that is. You know, fuck it, I'll go with this one. So this car didn't really have that much, but it's still fun to, well, at least try to, uh, make something out of it. So yeah, hopefully y'all are, uh, appreciating me, uh, doing the, uh, smaller variables in terms of cars. Thing is quick. Okay, so that does it for the, uh, 2018, uh, Nissan Z uh, Ascensionismo. So that was a, uh, interesting build, I guess. So yeah, anyway, on to the uh, next Japanese car. This is a car that I'm sure that... Hey, a ton of you out there are uh, are very familiar with. This is the uh, 1995 Toyota MR2 GT. Pretty uh, cute looking, actually. That... That actually, uh... This looks like a face. Yeah. 241 horsepower, 228 foot-pound of torque, and a normal weight of 2,657 pounds. God, this thing is adorable. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up so that y'all can hear this idling. And now let's see how this. A little thing sounds. Oh! Wow, this is a mean little bugger. Let's go. Shit, this little thing sounds mean.
Okay. Ah. Yeah, these can uh, go on it. Six hundred and fifty six horsepower, five hundred and twenty three foot pound of torque, and now an overweight of two thousand two hundred and twenty three pounds. Holy, holy hell. have created a little monster here, everyone. This is a little monster. Uh, okay, 240 miles per hour in this little thing. Oh, this one looks good. Damn, this little thing is... This thing is not playing around. That sounds like a friggin' helicopter. Jesus Christ, this little thing is fast.
So that does it for the uh, 1995 Toyota uh, MR2 GT. This little bugger is insane. And now, on to the next Japanese car. This is the uh, 1992 Mitsubishi uh, Galant VR4. Which, uh, this is a very common NPC car that is in the game, as well as the other ones, I think. But I don't think you could ever, uh, well, keep it for yourself and, and, like, build it up and all that. T 237 horsepower. 224 foot pound of torque and an overall weight of 2,976 pounds. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's go somewhere else. Is uh away from this GMC Jimmy. Anyway, I don't know. Shut up, so that y'all can hear this idling. And now let's see how this thing sounds. Okay, it's got a bit of a rumble to it. Let's go. I think this... that this is the same engine as on the uh, Mitsubishi Lancer. And I'm pretty sure that it is, but uh, I don't really know for sure. Bruh. Whoa. Uh, no, not putting those on. But, but I will put that on. Uh, nope, not those. Not those either. Six hundred and fifty horsepower, five hundred and nineteen foot pound of torque, and now an overall weight of two thousand four hundred and thirty one pounds. Oh, 
Okay, we got a little, well, well, somewhat of a rally monster here. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go with this one. Okay. Wow. Okay. Well, that guys is gonna. Well, that guys is gonna wrap it up for the uh, 1992 Mitsubishi Galant VR4. Interesting, but this is not the best because I have saved the best for last. So now, on to the final Japanese car of this video. This is the 2023. Nissan Z. This is the best of which I have saved for last. Now, at first I thought this thing was going to be a uh, Fair Lady, or at least like a Fair Lady Z series, but clearly not. Okay, 400 horsepower, 350 foot-pound of torque, and an overall weight of 3,536 pounds. <clears throat> Whoa, check this out. Okay, I will boost the audio so that y'all can hear this idling.
And now, for the sound. Okay. Nine hundred and five horsepower, seven hundred and thirteen foot pound of torque, and now an overall weight of two thousand seven hundred and ninety eight pounds. Okay, I have created a monster. You have got to be kidding me. Okay, 254.2 miles per hour. Ooh, Nismo edition. Let's see, is Rachel's livery uh, available for this thing. It is. 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 Oh my god. Oh my god, it is. Oh my god, it is. There you are. God, this thing looks so good with this on. 
Look at this. <laughs> Childhood memory from Need for Speed Underground 2 has come back. My god, the sound of this thing! That sound! Okay. A bit too much here. Or not. Okay, that was insane. So this guy's... Uh, so this guy is uh, going to wrap it up for the uh, 2023 Nissan Z. And for this video uh, uh, overall, these Japanese cars were somewhat surprising, but this one here truly, truly surprised me. So yeah, I absolutely love Japanese cars. Oh, and by the way, guys, next year... Japanese domestic market cars like the uh, Nissan Skyline, the uh, the uh, Nissan Silvia, and hopefully the Mark IV Supra will be legal here in America next year. So get hyped for that. And anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I really do hope you all have enjoyed this, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.